Hey guys, Dakari here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on season 1 episode 4 of Firefly. I am enjoying what I'm seeing so far so without further ado, let's roll the intro and get stuck into a brand new episode. Here we go. Stronger locks, thicker doors, keep everybody where they're supposed to be. Is that the dad from Twilight? No, it's not. No. Ah, you made money, huh? That's impressive. Water planets need labor. Terraforming crews got a prodigious death rate. The noises of the balls. Is that why you didn't have to lay in more rations? It sounds like, um, is it ping ball? What's the, like the arcade games? I might have to clear up before too much longer. Seems there's a thief about. Took this right off him. They earned that with the sweat of their slave trading brows. They won't discover it till they go order their next round of drinks. Way. <laughs> Holy. I love how they just grab an aura and leave. Stephanie ain't home. Too many people we need to avoid. I feel like that's everywhere, though. Planet's coming up on my fast. That's just cause I'm going down too quick. Likely crash and kill us all. Oh, fun. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're all right. It starts plummeting. I understand your time on our planet is limited. I 100% have seen this guy before. What a flattering invitation. I had no idea I was arriving in time for the social event of the season. What happened to her makeup? They've changed her makeup now. Now, I'm sorry, Atherton. I have to run. No, please. I understand. Or is this a different day? Afternoon, Captain. Morning. We're downing in. Good afternoon, morning. Where are we? Atherton Wing. He's a regular, ain't he? I've seen him before. Oh, I never did. She's hiding her clientele. He's engaged me for several days. Days? Boy must have stamina. He does. Ooh. It sounds like the finest party I can imagine getting paid to go to. God, they, they're so tense between these two. Here she is. Captain, can I have money for a slinky dress? <laughs> I'll chip in. I can hurt you. <laughs> I can hurt you. Well, Nora gets to wear whatever she wants. What are you going to do in that rig? Blouse around the engine room? You're like a sheep walking on its hind legs. Okay, Mal. A girl can dream and want to be, you know, treating herself now and then. Is she mad or something? <laughs> Jane is such a typical bloke. What just happened? Yeah, oh. Heard you was in town. Badger. Prefer a bit of a piss off. Oh. Very sorry. Did I give you the impression I was asking? <laughs> Seems to me the last time there was a chance for a little palaver, we were all manner of unwelcome. This ain't bad. A China cup? You backed out of a deal last time. Hurt our feelings. High class, too. Wouldn't let me in there. You might slip it. Of course, you couldn't buy an invite with a diamond the size of a testicle. That one big diamond. William and Lady Cortland. Oh, we're in Bridgerton now. What's going on? Doesn't she look the part? Okay. I must be losing my undefinable allure. She got some confidants. Oh, she blushes. Not many in your line of work do that. Oh, he's giving me the ick. Hey. Okay. Oh, is Mal gonna apologize now? Kaylee! Not speaking to you, Captain. I'll take that as a no. At least she's honest. She tells him what's going on in her mind, you know. I'm trying to offer you something, you know. A life. Uh, she has one of those. Atherton. Oh, is this Atherton Wing? He looks different. Personal companion. You're a generous man. A personal companion. So not a wife. His own personal whore. Is that what he's asking? You belong here, now. Not on that flying piece of Gosa. Gosa? Kaylee? Okay, 
Okay, Mal, I forgive you. Although she looks like a tea cozy right now. She deserves better of all the dresses to pick. Of course, if you've chose that yourself, then go live your best life. A little bow peep. Supposed to make me look respectful. Yes, sir, Captain Tight Pants. Captain Tight Pants. Okay, help me find our man. Older, kind of stocky, wears a red sash, crossways. Is that him? That's the buffet table. <laughs> well, how can we be sure? Uh, unless we question it. <laughs> She's a girl after my own heart, I swear. Dishes. Could do with less of them. Garbage. Oh, that's what they're gambling. Their chores. Speaking of garbage, I'll take three. Three. Jane's got his eye on River there, right? Keep the stakes up. The place made of solid money, like as anything. Well, maybe, maybe not. I thought she was at the side of him. Reaching and doing it. No one can hear what she's up to here. They took way too long to notice River there. Play cards or screw around. She seemed most like herself when she was outside of the of the ship. I thought you wanted to spend more time off shift this visit. I like our party better. The dress code's easier. Dress code's easier. Naked birthday suits. You're acting mm. captain. Know what happens you fall asleep now? Jane slits my throat and takes over. <laughs> she seems okay with that. Here lies my beloved Zoe, mm. my autumn flower. Unless you may. And then it's Zoe. <laughs> Corpsified. That just gives me flashbacks to Angel. Are they something? They're like butterflies or little pieces of wrapping paper blowing around. Bye then. <laughs> she does love a strawberry, does our Kayla? It's not as good as last year. Oh, really? What did they have last year? Standards. Oof, okay. She's not very good. She made you a dress that looks like you bought it in a store. It must have taken a dozen slaves a dozen days to get you into that getup. Of course, your daddy tells me it takes the space of a schoolboy's wink to get you out of it again. We like him. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Give my rudeness. I cannot abide useless people. Your rudeness is welcomed. <laughs> what a bitch that girl was. Holy. I've been led to understand you want to move some property off world. <laughs> <laughs> Some property. He's getting distracted. This is Atherton Wing, Atherton, Captain Mal Reynolds. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> um, you better remove your hand from her. Given that, I'm sure you won't mind if I ask Anara the favor of a dance. You don't own her. Of course. You're a brave man. I know it's mine. I knew he gave me the ick. These people like me and I like them. I like Atherton too, by the way. I don't know why. He's vile. You're right. Got a call to stop you. You got the right to a decent life. Look at him. His like, eyes are burning into the back of their heads. I'm not saying the 804 is hard to repair. It just ain't worth it. It's a fine machine. You just keep it tuned. I relate to Kaylee. This would be me. Excuse me, she's not here with you, Captain. She's mine. I should have belonged to nobody. Money changed hands, which makes her mine tonight. No matter how you dress her up, she's still... Deserved. Turns out this is my kind of party. Oh, no. What? Man was out of line. He was. There has been a challenge. Well, that's fine. Let's get out of here. It's not a fist fight now. Is it guns? If you require it, any gentleman here can give you use of a sword. Oh, sword. Use of a sword? <laughs> sword, I believe he said. Wing may be a spoiled dandy, but he's an expert swordsman. Oh, Mal's gonna win. Don't need a second. What's that? I'll take on the job. Taking on this job. In my second. Does this mean we're in business? You must up Atherton's face, and that has endeared you to me somewhat. You might even give him a fight <laughs> before he guts you. Oh, nice. Nice. I hate this man. Inara, please. Inara. No! Up until the punching. It's a real nice party. I mean, Kaylee made friends. Maybe her, like, networking's gonna help. <sighs> Badges in there? The captain's a good fighter. He must know how to handle sword. I think he knows what you to hold. Okay, that's not giving me confidence. Do you know what lodging he's in? No. 
He looks so different, guys. You're here to make sure that we don't do what these men are keen on doing. We'll just settle in till this blows over. One way or the other. One way or the other. Jane, I wouldn't. Why not? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I've got an idea, Renara. You just poison this guy before he even goes to the duel. Job done. Oh, Is that a lock? You did manage to push him into saying something. Yeah. He insulted you. No. I hit him. Seemed like no. the thing to do. Anara can't be justifying that guy, surely. There's a back door. The desk clerk is on alert. He'll let us out. That's it. She is help or trying to help him. I actually thought I was defending your honor, and I never back down from a fight. You do all the time. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> He's an expert swordsman, Mel. That's why I need lessons. I figure you know how, being such an educated woman and all. Is she going to be like a, a beast with a sword now? Only if his attention's elsewhere. What is he eating? Oh, an apple. <laughs> I say Zoe gets naked. Nope. <laughs> no one gets naked. River's gonna be the distraction without even knowing it, right? Just, oh no. Uh, just a passenger? Yeah? Why don't you talk? I got a secret. More than one. And then it doesn't like you. What is this? Nice to see someone from the old homestead. Not really. Call me if anyone interesting shows up. Bit of a mix of accents there, if you ask me, but yeah. She nailed that, though. That version we could have used. Yeah, that's what I thought was the plan. <laughs> but then everyone was just in shock and awe. It takes less than a pound of pressure to cut skin. They teach you that in Whore Academy? Whoa. You'll lay a man out for implying I'm a whore, but you keep calling me one to my face. Thank you. Don't take his offer. Just in the case that it happens, it means he's a fellow kill me. And I don't like fellows that kill me, not in general. It's a big ask. He'll be up early. Right. He's got that big day. Poison him, Anara. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, what's going to happen here? Is he going to play dirty? <laughs> He thinks he's doing well, doesn't he? He's been toyed with. What's he doing? I don't fall for that. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot him. Like Jane's got a sniper somewhere. Just stab the little. Atherton, wait. Let's look. <gasps> she's going to say. Yeah, she's going to say. I have to finish it, lad. <laughs> but then he's not going to do it. Mercy is the mark of a great man. Oh. Oh. Guess I'm just a good man. Good little poke. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost her, lad. Be gracious. You set this up, Paul. After I bought and paid for you. Is he going to go back and kill him? I'll see to it you never work again. Actually, that's not how it works. No companion is going to contract with you ever again. You'll have to rely on your winning personality to get women. Yes, Enjoy being alone, my guy. <laughs> I thought he was going to end up stabbing him. You willing to fight that hard to protect my property? I'll have it in your hold before midnight. Need to go and see the doctor now. Did you ever see such a lazy crew? It's Captain. I got a deal. Now get off my ship. It's all very much for a lovely night now. Is he gonna hold to his end of the deal? We was just about to spring into action, Captain. I was gonna watch. It was very exciting. <laughs> I was gonna watch. <laughs> all very thrilling. I've got a bad feeling. I've got a bad feeling. What is this? Is someone going to be in a room? She's fine. 
Why did I get so nervous then? Like they were going to do something cruel to her? It wasn't entirely a disaster. I got stabbed right here. Why do I see Louise Pentland every time I look at her? I don't know why. Maybe the shape of her face? Why would I want to leave Serenity? Can't think of a reason. Ah, oh, like they were saying a lot without saying anything there. <laughs> like not being direct, I mean. So there we go. Another episode down. I'm into it, guys. I am really into it. I think that the relationships between the characters are just so freaking strong. And I feel like we've only just tapped the surface. I think there's so much more that needs to be dove into. I think seeing Zoe and Wash really happy together was nice. And you can see that, you know, despite all of the drama and the fact that they're always on the run, they do find quiet moments, which again is, is really sweet to see. Kaylee, an absolute beaut. All she wanted was to dress up like a princess and she got to do that. But Kaylee's personality is just so strong. So it came through while she was at that party. She needed to be herself there. And thank God she was, because why would she want to be like the, the bitchy girls that were all extremely catty? group together there i know where i'd rather be just chit chatting away to a bunch of you know decent guys about something that you love he's very skilled when it comes to uh, mechanics and her knowledge is very vast so hats off to her embrace that <laughs> and her just saying like i think we need to go and investigate over near the buffy table bit of me that 100 <laughs> a bit of me everyone always goes to parties for the social i go there for the food <laughs> it's all about the food guys uh anyway i think that this atherton guy was an absolute tool he just made me feel uncomfortable from the get-go didn't trust him and he was very possessive over anara which i hated and i get that anara is seeing life as you know i'll, I'll just go with the flow if he pays me i am his companion you know, I get to have the nice life. Uh, but I like that Mal was like, no, no one should treat you that way. But Anara did make a good point when she said, you know, Mal always sees her as a whore, always reminds her that she's a whore. It feels weird me saying that because I always say sex worker, but in this context within the TV show, they say whore. And to her, every time he brings that up, it, it's a dig, it's an insult. Whereas she is proud to do what she does and it, it's legal in this world. She, you know, she's happy to be successful in what she, in what she does. So I liked that she didn't let uh, Mal's words slide there. She pulled them up on it straight away. I think deep down she knew that this Atherton guy was a waste of space and saw her as an object rather than a human being and clearly he has to pay for women because he ain't going to get them on his own with a personality and attitude like that and mindset like the one that he has uh, so i'm glad that anara got out of there it's a shame it was brought down to a duel but i'm glad that mal won and there was no uh, there was bloodshed but no death which is nice i would have loved to have seen anara fight him like oh i'm sorry what was that what did you just call me okay i julia <laughs> that would have been brilliant and her being the one that kills him just put him right in his place uh but anyway i think that they used she used her mind more so by saying look i'm just letting you know i have a network and all i have to do is say your name and you're blacklisted my guy so enjoy your lonely life goodbye it was just really brilliant i like that a lot the scene at the end I did love, it's just that I felt as though there was so much that they could have said, but they're both too, they're both too stubborn to admit their feelings, so they went around the houses a little bit there and used, you know, metaphors and whatnot, but it was a sweet scene nonetheless, and you can clearly see the chemistry between those two. I would like to find out more about them for sure. Uh, I, I don't know why I was so panicked when Kaylee went down into her room. I just, I thought there was just going to be someone in there waiting. Like one of Badger's mates, just, hi. 
and then me just freak out but luckily it was just her her chocolates and her pretty dress and she was just living her best life so thank the lord i do want to bring up river as well river in this one really surprised me as well as you know her friends on the ship i think because she's shown a lot of traits with her ptsd and she's very up and down with her mood i think seeing her so composed when talking to badger it was like a glimpse of what she's capable of a glimpse of uh what she likes to do and who she is using that intelligence to distract him and play into it it was kind of like a role play for her that's how i viewed it uh, whether it was like that i don't know yet time will tell it could be that she has like multiple personalities i i have no idea at this point um but i did i did enjoy that a lot and you could see that badger was really taken aback he was so confused didn't expect that at all which was yeah we love to see a, a confused mark shepherd so another enjoyable episode and we got to see uh more dodgy dealings and and plans being made and deals being struck um but it's always that elephant in the room about them being on the run you know not not leading a clean life it, it's very intense for them all of the time like they can't just visit wherever they're always looking over their shoulder if this plan with badger goes well maybe that will lead into more jobs in the future as well but i mean badger can't be trusted let's be honest we'll wait and see I'm going to leave it there. Like I say, really enjoyed it and I can't wait to watch the next one as well. I hope you you guys are enjoying my reactions to these. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'd really want to hear your thoughts. And I know that it's not a long show either. So I feel as though I'm fully invested because I know that there's like a, an end point coming shortly. I don't know why that is. It's just like I want it all to be rounded off. I pray that it's all rounded off especially with the the movie as well yeah thank you so much for taking time out your day to watch this video it means a lot if you enjoyed it give it a like guys helps me more than you know and a massive shout out to all of my members and sponsors you guys are fantastic i couldn't do this without you thank you so much if you would like to join the dat pack as well please do so links are in the description of this video and i hope to see you again soon for another one thanks guys goodbye for now before we completely sign off, let's quickly take a comment from that back. And today I've chosen Audra. Audra says, I've rewatched this show a few times over the last two decades. And while my opinions have certainly matured and be become more nuanced, one that hasn't changed is that this show is incredible. Obviously, I don't want to say much because you're only three eps in and there is too much to spoil. But having watched you react to quite a few things, I'm confident your enjoyment of the show will only increase. For me, characters and their relationships and dynamics with each other are always the most important part of a show and man does this cast nail it i just got chills then because i completely agree and yes i might have only watched four episodes now but you're completely right like the the dynamics between the characters they're so full and i don't know if that is the best word and it probably isn't but that's the best way i can describe it it's it's really satisfying when watching this show that's how i feel uh, Audra continues to say, you mentioned having a hard time bonding with Mal. Without spoilers, I will say one of the reasons to me that he is interesting as the main character is that he is so incredibly emotionally guarded, which means the actor really has to use different things than usual to try to communicate his inner thoughts to the audience. This show is rich in rewatch potential for many reasons, but noticing subtleties of actors' choices with full context is one of my favorite things what an amazing comment i really agree with everything that you've said there and i'm i'm open-minded when it comes to mal yes i might not have that instant bond with him but i think it, it opens up curiosities as well like i don't hate the guy far from it he's just mysterious to me and i want i want to know more so thank you so much for sharing your thoughts i appreciate it a lot and don't forget if you want to see one of your comments at the end of these videos don't forget to leave them in the comment section below Maybe yours will be next, but until next time, goodbye for now.